gentlemen, please welcome the amazing Russ Garcia. every instrument that's that exists. Russell's books were the books because they were in every university in America, they were taught it was like on this is how you write, this is how you write two part, three, right through to seven part and for orchestras. My CV is goes on for pages and I scrapped it because nobody would believe it. Fifty, 50 years. I woke up and I said to Russell, I've decided I'm going to become a Baha'i, just like that. And he said, oh, that's great. I didn't tell her I was going to become a Baha'i too. So she's actually 10 minutes older than I am, if you'd believe that, as a Baha'i, of course. I've never worked in my life. I write music and they give me money for it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't refuse. And as a little child, I used to sing in the pizza parlor. With my, my grandfather used to get me up because I could sing in Italian. Music, music, music. Nothing but music. One night, we're playing, and this fellow that I knew very briefly, I met him a few times, brought Gina in dancing. When I saw her, I nearly fell off my chair. I saw you, and my heart skipped a beat. It felt a thrill from my head to my feet. Well, when we actually got married, I was 21. Our daughter was 10. She had just had a 10th birthday in October. And David was 11. And then I chased her until she caught me. <laughs> but Gina was the perfect wife for me. Still is. I'm so lucky. I have a beautiful wife that helps me all the time in my career. I have my Baha'i faith, which inspires me, and I've earned my living this way. And I was so fortunate to be able to work with all of the greatest artists of my era. I did albums, three albums with Louis Armstrong, and I conducted for him at the Hollywood Bowl. I worked with Ella Fitzgerald albums. Uh, Sarah Vaughan, Sammy Davis Jr., Mel Torme, Anita O'Day, and jazz artists like Oscar Peterson. I had done everything in Hollywood, and so we decided one day we were going to sail across the Pacific Ocean and visit Baha'i friends on all the different islands. We were going to sail around the world, but we got stuck in New Zealand. He came home from Universal Studios and he said, Gina, what would you think if we sold everything and bought a little sailboat and go visit our Baha'i family around the world? And I said, you're out of your mind. I can't even swim. <laughs> <laughs> For people who think nothing's going to go wrong, it's an absolute ridiculous. It's absolutely impossible because there's always something that will go wrong. We ran into a hurricane the first night we started on our trip. You have to be either very brave or a little crazy to go across the ocean in a small sailboat. The coming to New Zealand was the worst trip I ever had in all that time. When you have 45 foot waves, <laughs> you're scared. When Gina and Russell came to Samoa, they taught us that there should be only one religion of God and there should be one church in the village. We developed 
a course, all of a sudden, we're teaching at three schools and it's being used at four other schools just in our own Bay of Islands area. But the way we teach the children, we do it with songs and raps and stories and games and, and the children love it and they're learning it and it's having an effect on these children. It's just a thrill to be on stage and look over and see the maestro standing there conducting his four, four trombone signature band. It's a thrill. I remember one of the lunches I went to at Gina and Russ's and I went off to use the bathroom. And just as I was there sitting in the room I heard this voice say, Mention my name, you'll get a good seat. <laughs> Thank you.